Ford is unveiling a new hybrid police car. This thing is a beast. If you're speeding down the highway, you don't want this thing chasing after you. I'm here now with Ford's president of the Americas, Joe Henricks. And Joe, this police car, hybrid police car, can save police departments almost $4,000 right. a year in fuel costs. Which is a big deal because a lot of city governments are under pressure to reduce costs for taxpayers and also be able to offer more services. So not only the fuel economy savings, but less time at the pump, you know, actually filling up, which is police department downtime, and actually better emissions for the environment as well. And Joe, this car has what's called a pursuit mode. That's right. You know, the police departments in Michigan and L.A., they do a great job of validating the performance of police vehicles for the rest of the departments around the country. Pursuit rated means the vehicle can do lots of different things that police departments need. For example, it can high, it can high speed chase and different speed levels. It can go over curbs. It can go through intersections with water, all things like that. And in the pursuit mode, once it hits, once you've been on the throttle for five seconds, the vehicle gives you all the power it has, both from the battery and the engine, to be able to maximize speed and performance to be able to, to get the bad guy. And get to that 100 miles per hour 100 speed. 100 plus, because you need to sometimes. Probably, hopefully not in Manhattan, but, but yeah, sometimes you do. And what has the response been like from police departments, right? They've been asking for something like this for years. They have, because the city's been pressuring them about emissions, uh, you know, helping the environment, but also better fuel economy savings. And importantly, they know in a city environment, like here we are in Manhattan, that stopping and starting is a big deal. Idle time is a big deal. The police vehicles need to stay on because all electrical equipment is running. The battery can run a lot of that and actually reduce costs. All right, and tell us some of the kind of quirky, interesting things that police departments want in a car. Yeah, well, I was, you know, a lot of people, they don't want to be in a vehicle, with a police vehicle, but they want to learn about them. So, you know, no one ever wants to sit in one, right? I've never been in but one. But actually, yeah, good, exactly. <laughs> but I can tell you that there are neat things. For example, skid plates underneath to protect the vehicle when it's bouncing and driving or going over a curve. But one of the more interesting things, there's actually stab plates. There's actually plates in the seats so the people in the back seat can't stab through and get a police officer. It makes sense, right? Makes sense. And the, the gas mileage on this thing is incredible. 38 miles per gallon, double its non-hybrid counterpart. That's right. Again, because, because you're using the regeneration of the brakes to heat the heat that comes from there to charge the batteries. So all that stopping and starting is actually giving yourself power back.